new house. I'm gonna walk in and show you guys the new space. Right when you walk in, there is a window to the left. I think I'm gonna put our bench that we have in our condo right here as you walk in. There's Kenzie with her unicorn. She's bringing stuff in. And then I love how open this hallway is. It just feels really nice and doesn't feel restrictive. Hallways kind of scare me because sometimes they can feel too tight. So there's this huge wall right next to the door. So send me all of your ideas because I don't know what to do with this space. I think a gallery wall over here could look cool. And then maybe my shoe shelf right here with my mirror. I don't know, I'm still thinking about it. And then you walk a little further and this is going upstairs. Walk down here. Then right here is the powder bath. It's really tiny, but I think I wanna do wallpaper against that wall where the mirror is. I have a really pretty picture from Hobby Lobby going right there. Then here's the toilet, nothing too exciting. Then back there, I think I'll add shelves. Then moving down the hall, we have a closet right here. It's amazing how much storage this place has. It's so different from our condo. I turn on the light. It just goes back. I feel like Kenzie will love playing in here. Can be a little fort area back here. So, so much space. Then moving down, here is the laundry room. So I'm gonna take those shelves down. Obviously we have our washer and dryer that is on its way here right now. I think I can do so many fun things in here. Again, I think I'm gonna wallpaper this whole house. I'll probably put a pretty wallpaper on the back there. Make it cute, maybe some shelving on that side. And then you keep walking and this is where the living room and kitchen live. I love how open it is. It's just literally a different world, you guys. We lived in a 970 square foot condo, so this just feels so different to me. We have the kitchen over here. I love the white cabinets. It's really bright. The window light really helps. The counters are some form of granite. I'm not sure what they are. Then I love this huge island. It's just gonna be perfect for entertaining. We are gonna have Christmas here, so there's just so much space to work with. I love how long this counter is. I can't wait to decorate for Christmas. You guys are gonna see that really soon. I just have some things. I went to Ikea yesterday, so I'm gonna be doing a fridge organization video, so I'm gonna be using those. And, oh, the drawers. I wanted to show you because they're so big. I love how wide they are, and they go across the whole kitchen area. I don't think you realize how much organization content is coming your way because I've never had so many cabinets and drawers. So it's gonna be nice. We have obviously the oven microwave and the fridge. I'm not a fan, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not a fan of the two-sided fridge situation. We had this in our condo and I just feel like the space is, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. Another thing I really love about this kitchen is the subway tile. It's just really fresh and clean to me. And also the windows bring in a lot of natural light, which is perfect for filming videos and content creation, so that is really great. There's my little girl. Hi. I think I left my baby. Oh, yeah. You lost your baby in there? <laughs> so over in this area is the dining room. It's really small. It's not even a dining room. I don't know what you call this area, but we are gonna put our white table here. We got some pretty chairs. Then these two doors open up to the pantry. So I'll show you guys. I'll step back and show you. James already has a few things in there. Lots of shelving, which is nice. And then you turn around over here and this is our backyard. I'll show you quickly. It's not very big, but going from no backyard to a little backyard is exciting for us. Kenzie is going to love this. It is so awesome that she finally gets to have some space to play in and it's just gonna be really fun. So that's the backyard. Here is the view of the kitchen from the backyard. Then when you step in here, this is our living room. So it's a pretty big living room. We bought a sectional couch, so that's gonna go in there. And then on the back wall, where you see those two windows, 
There's gonna be an entertainment center. I just bought one yesterday from Ikea, so we're gonna put that together today. Christmas tree might go over in this corner, or maybe this corner. I don't know, what do you guys think? There's so much to figure out and so much to decorate. I can't wait to bring you all along. So yeah, this is the main floor. Now I'll take you upstairs and show you what's up there. It's nice when you go up the stairs. There are really high ceilings. There's a window there for natural light. These stairs are basically the same as our condo. So I really liked that because obviously in our condo, we remodeled them to look exactly like this. So I was excited when we walked in and saw the similar style. There's a lot of stairs. The only negative about these stairs, if you do a similar style like this, is that they get really dirty when you walk up the stairs. So I didn't like that in our condo because right when you walked in was where our stairs were, so they got really dirty. But this is what it looks like at the top of the stairs. When you walk up to the right is where Kenzie's bathroom is. It's actually technically a guest bathroom. I'm not gonna decorate it super girly or anything because I want guests to be able to enjoy it in here and have a little oasis whenever they sleep over. And then it's a double sink, which I really like. Same countertops throughout the whole house. Lots of storage down there. Toilet, exciting stuff. Window. This is the guest room shower, where also Kenzie will take baths and shower, all the fun things. We only had one bathroom in our last house, so now we have three, which is gonna be a whole new world because my husband is always on the toilet, and... <laughs> he said he heard that. At the top of the stairs, there's a ledge, so I'm not sure how I'm gonna decorate that space yet. I always feel like those are kind of awkward to work with, so I'll have to play around with that. But moving into the bedrooms, he walked down a little, and then to the right is Kenzie's bedroom. So I'll try and get a good look. So this is the biggest one of the bedroom, so we wanted to give it to Kenzie so she had a lot of space to play in. This is Kenzie's closet. Again, the flooring is the same throughout the whole house, which I really like, but that means that we're gonna have to get a lot of rugs to warm it up because having hardwoods throughout a whole house can be really cold, as you know. So in that corner, we're gonna put a bookcase and then maybe for cube storage. Hi, whose room is this? Kenzie. Do you love your new room? Are you tired? What are you sad about? To the playground. To the playground? Well, we're, you see kids over there? I know, baby. We're gonna go soon. So when you walk in to the left, her bunk bed is gonna go against that wall and I think that's where we will do the wallpaper. I'm not entirely sure yet um, with a canopy and I think it'll look really cute. So of course, I'm gonna take you guys through um, the makeover process of that. So when you come out of her room to the left is where my office is gonna be. I wanted this one just because I liked the light in here. It's really important to have good lighting. So it is kind of tiny, but obviously I don't need a lot of space. This is just where I'm gonna like work every day. Um, my desk will go there, another wallpaper. Can't wait to decorate this space. This will be really fun. There are double doors for the closet. I like the double doors. This is gonna be the perfect closet for all of my PR and just work stuff. So I'm not gonna put any clothes. Actually, I'm not sure. Not sure what I'm doing with this space yet, but just throwing out ideas. Think different like organization systems in here. So going across the hall will be our extra bedroom. Right now, this will be James's game room, office, whatever he wants it to be really. This could potentially be a nursery. Who knows? We will see. And then you just turn around here. There is a window to the right. And then this is the other closet. And the reason why I chose the other room as the office was because I like the double doors. This one just has a closet that goes back. I'm sure James won't need this big of a closet, so I can put some of my lighting in here. We'll see how much space he will give me. And then it's just if you loop around here. I think we're gonna put like a couch bed, like a pull-out bed in here for guests. 
So we'll see. I'm just letting this be the disaster room and James has no design style whatsoever. So he's just gonna make it whatever he wants it to be. That's like his space. And then this is the other part of the hallway. There's two doors here. This door right here is a big linen closet, which I really love. There's a little area outside of our offices that we could maybe put some pictures on. And then down the hallway is where our master bedroom is. I love this room. This is like one of the things I fell in love with because it's so big. It's hard to capture on camera, but it is such a spacious bedroom and we have a giant king bed. So we needed a big bedroom because it always feels so cramped whenever you have a king bed. Um, the bedrooms kind of need to be larger. So we're gonna put two new, um, we haven't bought them yet, two new bedside tables on either side. The bed will go back there. And then you walk around, here's the window, it just looks down at our backyard. And then backing up some more. I love the floors. We're gonna have to get a giant rug in here. I hate cold bedrooms, so we don't have a rug currently for this space, so I'm gonna have to look online. Do you guys have any good rug stores or places you know about online? Please leave them in the comments. I think maybe over in that corner we'll put our dresser. I don't know, it'll be fun to play around with. I also could put it against this wall. But again, like I don't want it to feel too cramped and I want the space to feel really open and bright. Don't hate me, but I might put another wallpaper in this room. I have a wallpaper picked out, so I'll have to see if it'll look good and measure that out. And then it goes into our master bathroom. We've never had one of these, so it's gonna feel cool. We do have to call them though because the lights don't work in here, which is really frustrating. So we're gonna call them and get that sorted out. I'll try and show you as much as I can. It's pretty dark in here right now, but you guys can get a picture of what it looks like. There's the shower. I really like it. It has the door with storage on both sides, which is nice. And then, I love this feature. It's a toilet room, which is nice because James can go ahead and close this door whenever he's using it and vice versa. It's just nice to have some privacy. This is the other side of the bathroom, has the double sink, and then this giant closet right here is gonna be so perfect for all of my makeup, skincare, so much space to work with. All right, I'm gonna end it here. That is everything for this empty house tour. I hope you enjoyed seeing it. I'm so excited to start decorating and organizing in here. If you guys like that type of content, don't forget to subscribe if you are already. And if you can, give this video a thumbs up. It really does help out my family and means the world to us. I will be posting weekly videos for the month of December. So if you want, you can hit that bell notification and it will notify you every time I put up a new video. And that is everything for today. I'll talk to you guys next week. Bye.